I already recorded this video once, but apparently it didn't work. Why can't I record videos once and have them work? Okay, so back to my story. We stopped at our house really quick. My son is driving. He's 15, so he needs some more hours. He's going to be 16 in less than two weeks. And in the state of Wyoming, um, they have to have so many hours. And my son has the hours, but he wasn't logging them. And he has a mean mom who won't sign the paper and forge the hours. So he's got to do more hours, but it's a good thing. As you can probably tell from the beginning of my video, things didn't go how they were supposed to. So here comes my wait for this week. vacation is in less you know what a couple months or so did I wait 173.4 for vacation I would like to lose 10 pounds so I would like to I'm going to set my goal at 163 even is my goal I can't remember the last time I weighed that super excited so for those of you guys that are joining me on my weight loss journey and if you're on Weight Watchers or you count calories or you intermittent fast or you do, you know, any of the other plans out there. There's so many things to try to help us lose weight. And we know that it's not a diet. It's a lifestyle change, no matter what kind. For any of you guys that are joining me on my journey, what was your biggest struggle this last week? Or, and or, what was your biggest success? For me, my biggest struggle was changing from night shift to day shift, having a holiday, going out with friends, and then just continuing to overeat. I mean, I love food, you know, um, that willpower. Some people say it just takes willpower. For me, there are days where I do amazing and I'm on plan and I haven't used all my points. And then there are other days where I just want to eat even if I'm not hungry. All right, everyone. So I already recorded this video once, but now I have to record it again. So, um, welcome. <laughs> my name is Marlene. AK Snow Gardener 307. This is my weekly update on my weight loss journey. I am currently on WW or Weight Watchers Blue Plan where I get 23 points a day. And I have been doing okay, not great, you know, um, if I'm 100% honest. This week I believe I was in the blue or within the point range that I needed to be. Um, four out of seven days. So not amazing. I had Easter, um, dinner that definitely was over points. And then also on Saturday, we went to a friend's barbecue and had lots of points. And of course I am driving, so I'm not looking at you guys the best. So please forgive me for that, but I need to get this done. And I'm actually out of town with my son for his orthodontist appointment. So I thought I would try to re-record this since I don't know what happened to my recording. But, so this week I tried some new food, really liked it. Um, one of my favorite things is a new dressing that I have and I will put a picture of that in here. Oh, so yummy. Absolutely delicious, sugar-free dressing. Um, hit the spot for me. And then, like I said, we did Easter dinner and I did okay for the dinner part, but it was after dinner, right? When everybody is visiting and it was actually quite beautiful up here in Wyoming. We just got snow yesterday, but um, on Easter it was beautiful. We were sitting outside. It actually even got a little bit of a sunburn. And so everybody else was drinking beers and having desserts and everything. So I joined in. But that's okay because that is life and I've got to find a plan that will work for me that has balance and so uh, that is my goal in life and my husband left town again on Monday so I believe he's going to be gone for two weeks so you know there will not be a lot of family cooking. I am going to try to do a cook with me tomorrow for my oriental chicken salad. I've had some requests for that. So I'm super excited for that. I created a new overnight oats recipe that I think is so yummy. Now, my base recipe comes from Christy with Planning Us Healthy. So if you have not checked out her channel, make sure you do. But the new overnight oats that I came up with 
um, is, I don't even know the name of it, but it has the Lily's mint chocolate chips in it, and I put some vanilla in there, and oh my goodness, it is so yummy. Absolutely love it. With the overnight oats, the way that I make them, I feel like I'm eating something I shouldn't be, <laughs> so that's always a plus for me. I love stuff I'm not supposed to have. I don't know about you guys, but if you tell me I can't have it, I want it that much more. So I am trying to allow myself to eat yummy food within my plan. My favorite thing to eat this week, which you will see in the photos that I'm going to share with you guys, was the burritos that I have created. And I mentioned these last week and I ate more of them this week and I had a few different variations. But I'm using the Olay tortillas, which on Weight Watcher Blue are one point a piece and I'm making two, so I have two points with that. Then I'm using fat-free refried beans, which are free. And I'm also using cauliflower rice, which is free. And the cauliflower rice, I am adding Rotel tomatoes to it, as well as um, either some taco seasoning or some other seasonings of sort and I put those in the burritos, absolutely delicious. Um, what I top them with is what has varied. One day I did some fat-free yogurt, which was free, and um, some more Rotel tomatoes because if I've opened a can of Rotel, I wanna use it all. Then I had some cottage cheese that needed to be eaten up the other day, so I topped my burritos with cottage cheese and it was absolutely delicious. My favorite way to top them though is with the Tostitos brand queso, I believe. And you can have three tablespoons of queso for two points. So I love cheese. I don't know about you guys, but love, love, love cheese. So I will share some pictures of those with you. And as I'm driving here, sorry about that, you guys. But like I said, we are in a town 100 miles away from us to do an orthodontist visit. So I did go to Walmart really quick because for those of you guys that have never watched my channel before, I live in a very small town that has one grocery store and no Walmart, you know, anything like that. This Walmart right here is actually the closest Walmart to me. So, you know, if I travel here, I try to stop if I can and grab a few things. So I only grabbed a couple things because my grocery budget is actually already spent. But like I said, traveling here, I have to take advantage when I can. But I'm proud of myself because I walked in and I had two items I wanted to get and I only walked out with three. So I only added one. And so I went in for Laughing Cow Cheese. I got, I think, four different varieties of Laughing Cow Cheese to have. So I got that. And I did that because in my store, the Laughing Cow Cheese, if they have it, is almost $5 a container. And at Walmart, if I remember correctly, they were $2.79 a piece. So I grabbed an original one. That was the main thing that I wanted was the original one because I am going to be doing a bagel thin with an original Laughing Cow cheese wedge and some yummy sugar-free apricot preserves that I got. So super excited for that. So I got those and then I got my favorite yogurt. It saves me a little bit over $2 for one container to grab it at Walmart instead. And then the other thing that I got was something that's all the rage and everybody's drinking and I want to be a cool kid. So I bought some of it too and I'm actually stopped now. So I'm going to unbuckle and I'm going to show you. Don't mind my son's clothes in the back and we've got mail and stuff back there too. If you see that. But do you see that back there? That bubbly water? Yep. I'm not big on that type of stuff, but I haven't tried it. So I figured, why don't I try it? You guys know if you've watched my channel, I love my diet soda. I love my Coke Zero with vanilla, delish. Also, Dr. Pepper's come out with all kinds of yummy zeros, so I like to do that. But now I'm sitting at the orthodontist office waiting for my son, and hopefully one of these days he'll get his braces off. Um, him and his sister both had braces. Both of them felt like they had them forever because they wouldn't wear their rubber bands. But the boy claims that he has been wearing them, but you know how teenagers are. So let's see, what else happened this week? I also 
changed from night shift to day shift. If you've never watched my channel before, I work shift work. I work 12 hour shifts. So I either work 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. or 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. The past three months I have been on night shift and I was totally used to night shift. And now I'm on day shift. And so I just worked Monday and Tuesday on day shift and getting up that early in the morning kicked my butt. So pretty tired. Um, I am excited to share with you guys that for steps doing okay. I set an April monthly goal, I believe of 200,000 steps, which isn't really that much. My May goal is going to include um, a fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. Um, because May is Cancer Awareness Month. And I saw it on Facebook and I figured, what the heck? You know, it will encourage me to be more active while hopefully I, you know, raise some funds for a good cause. And I actually grabbed 25 bucks out of my giving fund and was the first to donate to my fundraiser. So I threw in $25. So, you know, it made me feel somewhat good for the day per se. I hope everybody on their weight loss journey is having... A good week and whether you are you know trying to gain weight maybe you're one of those people that are trying to gain weight right I don't try to gain weight I try to lose weight but whether you're counting calories whether you're doing Weight Watchers whether you are intermittent fasting or just trying to eat healthy I hope all of you guys are having an amazing and blessed week well hello there back home from our trip didn't get a chance to edit the video, so I figured I'd show you guys really quick. I know I talked about the Walmart stuff, but I figured I'd show you, and I'd show you my receipt and talk to you a little bit more. And I want to show you guys the new overnight oats recipe. So there's one of the kitties in the background. Hi, kitty. Okay, let's flip you around. So uh, this is all I got from Walmart. It is a miracle, especially, like I said, because I live out of town. And so I got my Faye yogurt. I tell you guys what, it's worth every penny. And so it was $5.38. And then my Laughing Cows were $2.87 a piece. And the bubbly water was $3.38. So I spent $20.24. I got an original Laughing Cow. And then the Garlic and Herb, which is my favorite. This is my favorite. I'm sorry about the puppies in the background. Um, they've been in a kennel you know, for the past few hours. So then now they're out and they're rambunctious. And then I got a, the creamy spicy pepper jack. And then I got the aged white cheddar. I'm most excited about this original creamy, creamy original because I don't know what my fridge looks like. Just so you guys know, it's a little crazy. Yes, yes, yes. But I want to show you guys why I'm so excited. All right. So here is why I'm so excited. So I am going to use the Creamy Original Laughing Cow with some sugar-free apricot preserves on top of a bagel thin. So excited. There's a puppy. And here's more puppies too. All right, so there's no room for the hot fudge there, so we put it sideways. So uh, that is why I'm excited. Look at, there's dishes to do in the background. Always something to do, but uh, let me get my stuff out for the overnight oats and let's make them really quick. <laughs> there I was messing around. That's probably how I'll break my phone next time. Hi guys. So, got you in here. Let's see, we're gonna talk about our quick oats. And I realized there was one more thing I should've got at Walmart, but I didn't because it wasn't on my list and I forgot, so I'll be adding it to the list. So, overnight oats. We're gonna be using some quick oats. This is what I should've got at Walmart. We are going to be using some Swerve of the brown sugar variety. Of course, whatever brand of sugar replacement you've got. And then, just so you guys know, I keep my Swerve in this container here. I know it's a cereal container, works out perfect. I love the idea and concept of cereal containers, but we go through boxes of cereal so fast that it's just not worth it to use it. So we've got that swerve container. And then the other one I use for my chocolate chips and all my variety of chocolate chips. We are going to be using the Lily's Chocolate Mint Chips. Uh, they are super yummy, just so you guys know. And then we're gonna be using some 
unsweetened almond breeze, almond milk. This is the vanilla, but it works just fine with the plain as well. Then we're going to be adding some chia seeds because our goal here is to be healthier. So some chia seeds and because we like sweet and, you know, this doesn't make it healthier, we're going to be doing some sugar-free maple syrup. So uh, let's go ahead and get this started. I need to grab a jar because I forgot to do that. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I just grabbed two jars because I don't have very many oats. And I still have, I think, two in the fridge. But these are hitting the spot so much that I'm going to make myself a couple more. So these are just for me uh, because I'm mean and I don't share. Not really. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and move you guys down a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. And I uh, might become the headless chef again. Look at that. Headless chef. How many chefs have for the headless chef, right? Marie from Marino Moms. That was for you. You guys, if you haven't checked out Marino Mom's channel, it's a fun channel. It is all about their family and their daughter, Annie, and they are amazing, beautiful women raising an amazing, beautiful little girl. So go check their channel out. They're a lot of fun. Okay, so super easy. And like I said earlier, I'm going to be hodgepodging a whole bunch of video clips together because, you know, I can't do anything right and I deleted the one I needed. So we're redoing a lot of them. But um, I had said earlier that the base recipe for this came from Christy at Planning Us Healthy. So make sure you check her recipes out. She's got all kinds. Um, I do the butterscotch rum oats that she did once and those are super yummy. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna do um, quick oats. And I've just got my canning funnel here just because I don't wanna spill all over. You can do these in this size jar or this, a smaller one if you like. I like having the bigger jar because I like to add a little bit more almond milk the day that I actually eat them. So we're just gonna do a half of a cup and it looks like I could have done one more, but that's okay. And this is probably something that I should be weighing out, but I don't care. All right, so quick oats. We got the quick oats in there. And then we are going to go ahead and add our chia seeds. And let me grab one more. Okay. So we are going to do one tablespoon. And if I could find my measuring spoons, we'd be doing good. And now I'm questioning if that's supposed to be one tablespoon. Let me check. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm back. And I should have went with my instinct was which was to grab the half a tablespoon. So I have a half a tablespoon measuring spoon here. We're gonna be doing some chia seeds, like I said, to be healthy. Um, just so you guys know, on Weight Watchers, this does add a point, so you could leave these off. This recipe right here, as I'm making it, will be five points on the blue plan, just so you guys know. Okay, so we're gonna do a half a tablespoon of chia seeds. The chia seeds do thicken it up, just so you guys know, but I absolutely love it. Then we are going to go ahead and do our brown sugar. And I believe Christy's recipe, and again, here we are, Headless Chef. I believe Christy's recipe calls for a teaspoon. <laughs> yeah, no, I do a tablespoon. And I think it may have been because I read the recipe wrong the first time. If you guys have ever watched my cook with me before. And this was not a heaping tablespoon that I just put in there, you guys, just so you know. This one... This bag is just about out. I do have more. I ordered this online because my local store does not carry it. Then we're gonna go ahead and do a tablespoon of the maple free, maple free, sugar free maple syrup. <clears throat> Let's see if we can not spill the syrup everywhere this time. Okay, one tablespoon. Perfect. We've got that and that, and then we're going to go ahead and do our extract, our almond extract. <coughs> and I promise I'm not sick, guys. I know that you can't catch anything through the camera, but I'm not sick. So one half teaspoon is how I designed this. One half teaspoon of vanilla. This is the cheap stuff. I am wanting to buy some expensive stuff next time I go out of town, but I've got a big bottle of the cheap stuff, so I'm going to use it up first. Use what you have, right, instead of buying new. So we've got that, and then we've got our almond breeze, and we're going to do a half of a cup of that. So let's go ahead and get that. And this can be any sort of almond milk that you like, 
And obviously, if you use the sweetened and, you know, you're not worried about points and stuff, I a lot of times will make these for my son. And I just use whatever regular milk we have. And I just don't use the sugar-free stuff for him because he doesn't really need to worry about that at almost 16 and very active. He doesn't have to worry. So I'm going to stir these up, make sure that brown sugar gets stirred in there. And then we're going to go ahead and do some chocolate mint flavored baking chips from Lily's. Um, my husband said that these are his favorite Lily's. He, of course, loves mint. So do I. But these are super, super yummy. And... I just ate my first batch of this overnight oats just a couple of nights ago because it was something that I wanted to use my mint chocolate chips from my friend Crystal from Texas. She sent me a package of yummy, yummy goodies. Her channel is What Was Mommy Thinking? So go check out her channel. She has budgeting videos, meal planning videos, and she's also on a weight loss journey. So go check her channel out. And so for this, a serving size is 26 chips. But however, if you lower it a little bit, you can lower your point values. So I'm going to put one point value worth of chips in here. And for this one, I believe it's 18. If it's wrong, I will let you know right here. But I believe it's 18. So that's what I'm going to put in there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Almost the perfect grab there, you guys. And 18. Then we'll get these ones put in here. So we've got 6, 10, 15, and 18. And then I'm just going to put these in the fridge, just like this, for at least overnight, of course. I find that they stay plenty good for 4 to 5 days. And then I've got two breakfast or snacks or whatever I want to make for myself. All right, so I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Like I said, I'm going to hodgepodge a whole bunch of stuff together because I messed up earlier. But you guys know on my channel, whether it's budgeting, whether it's weight loss, whether it's home improvements, cleaning, whatever it is, we keep it real on this channel. So, all right, I really think I'm going to say goodbye for this video now, even though when I go to edit it, if I decide to add something else, there may be something else. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. For those of you guys that are along for the crazy journey, thank you so much for your support. We are coming up close to 500 subscribers and never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd even be close. I thought I would still be sitting at like 25 subscribers, but here we are. So thank you guys. And I will see you guys next week for another weight journey update. And we'll see if I can do better on my way in this week, this next week than I did this week. But hey, 0.4 pounds is nothing to be ashamed of. Bye, guys. And now I'm going to leave you with some pictures of my food choices this week. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I know I messed it up, but in my soul.